Oh my god. Yo, Scooby Doo! Let's go! What's up? All right, so for those that couldn't tell, I did get a brand new headset. Uh, headset, excuse me. I did get a VR headset, and uh, I am looking for new VR games and stuff like that. I, I actually haven't even set it up yet. Uh, I do plan to pick up Phantasmophobia. A lot of people have been uh, talking about that. I do plan to play with Rawad because he actually got a headset as well as Adam Yedo, so that'll be sick. And uh, with this, we're going to start the Should You Summon. Now, I think that this is going to be the first banner that I ever actually recommend to summon on the main banner as opposed to the individuals. Uh, not that the individuals are necessarily bad, but we'll get into that as we uh, proceed. So going into the main banner, I think that the main banner is actually pretty good. We have Izuru, Chojiro, and Yamamoto, the mainstay banner characters, as well as Fierce Battle Ichigo, Tech Hiyori, Jushiro, Shunsui, Tesla, Loopy, and the Halloween 2018 characters. Uh, the Halloween 2018 characters did get resurrected, so they are a lot of orbs should you pull them, and they are new. Uh, one thing to note though is I'm not going to be going into crazy detail with the ban main banner characters because I already went into length in the stats and skills video and gameplay video. So should you be interested in that, I'll recommend checking those videos out. But I will be overviewing them slightly. Going into Izuru. Izuru is a range flurry unit, damage reduction 20%, bruiser 30% along with flurry, debilitator plus 5 seconds with weakening on all of his attacks, as well as last ditch survival 100%, poise and sprinter plus 1. One thing to note is that last ditch survival is actually pretty good in PvP with how it works because it also ends up, the way that it interacts in PvP is that they no longer use their strong attacks. So once they get revived, they immediately go into their nad string. Now, Izuru has the same nad string as Tokinata, and Tokinata does excellent in PvP, and um, that is with this last ditch survival very, 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 very strong. He does have the same nad string as Tokinata, a pushback attack on his first strong attack, which you're Honestly, in PvP, is not going to be very relevant. Uh, you have the 625 into zero into the 1000 with second strong attack. This is actually going to be the same strong attack as, uh, if I remember correctly, like Bankai Hikone. Yeah, Bankai Hikone, Kisuke, Tokinata. So they, they do take quite a lot uh, from each other, which is good. And then the third strong attack is going to be a standard full screen third strong attack. He's going to be very, very strong when it comes to epic raids, and he's going to be okay in PvP. I think his main issue is going to come from the, is going to stem from the fact that if he faces up against a Tokinata, Tokinata is clapping the ass. Like he is going so deep inside Izuru's cheeks that I think that his little hollow hole is going to need some. Uh, antibiotics. Alright, so that's pretty much that. Next on the list, Chojiro. Uh, now, Chojiro is actually a very excellent unit. His only real folly is that he is a Captain Killer, which is not necessarily a bad thing because, in my opinion, Captain Killers are very underwhelming as of right now in terms of SP based characters. So, having this character come out for Guild Quest Week as the Guild Quest is about to come out sometime soon, you'll see that this character will actually perform very, very well there. So, Berserker 20%, Havoc 20%, Frenzy, Debilitator plus 5 seconds, Paralysis on all of his attacks, as well as damage to paralyzed enemies plus 20%. That means that he's going to be able to deal even more damage after he uses his special because when he uses his Soul Bomb, what had happened is. is if, the, if you go to the final boss and he's paralyzed, you're dealing 20% more damage, right? And that scales differently than the Berserker 20%, which is really good. He has Frenzy, Devastation 40%, Bruiser 20%, and Sprinter plus 1. So honestly, this character is going to be actually pretty good. His kit is very awesome. He has the 3000 length beam, 960 circular AoE in front with the crazy range, and a full screen third strong attack standard 1200 radius. Just overall excellent unit. And then, of course, Yamamoto. Now, Yamamoto is a strong attack recharge 12% link with a no affiliation killer for tech. Um, supposedly, he's going to have some craziness when it comes down to uh, the new Transcendence Zone, but we still don't have much information when it comes down to it. So I don't really think we're going to desperately need a no affiliation killer. A lot of people are saying that we're going to need that, but I don't... I don't feel like... I, I feel... If Caleb restricts it by killer, that's going to be so dirty. So he does have Berserker 20%, Havoc 20%, and Frenzy. Debilitator plus 2 seconds with burn on all of his attacks. Bruiser 20%, damage to burning enemies plus 20%. Debilitator plus 2 seconds. Oh, excuse me, I already said that. Devastation 40%, and Sprinter plus 1. Now he has three things called innate abilities, which, uh, there it is, innate skills. Fire immunity, so Yamamoto, without having to waste the skill, officially has fire immunity, which is good. 
Emulator, which means every 5 seconds he has a 12% chance to burn the characters around him in a set radius. We're not quite sure the exact range on that yet. And read no affiliation dodges. Uh, that is going to take place for the new Transcendence Zone. I'm still unsure exactly what that will mean, but pretty much no affiliation characters will not be able to dodge with dodge rate. I'm not sure how that is going to interact with with like the hollows. You know how like the hollows dodge backwards? If the no affiliation characters do that too, I wonder if that'll bypass that too. Uh, going into um, his actual attacks though, he has a standard lunge for strong attack. He has a brand new strong attack lunge, 870 radius. Keep in mind that without the Havoc, it is slightly shorter than Tech Eisen's first strong attack, which is 750. This will go down to 725. So overall, it's just a standard lunge, just very good range on it. And then third strong attack is going to be full screen third strong attack uh, with 1200 radius. Uh, his special move is obviously standard full screen. And uh, yeah, so overall, Bandit characters looking very good. I don't think that any of them are broken. I don't think that... I honestly think that if you really want to skip this banner, this banner might not be a bad one to skip. Sure, they're a thousand year blood work characters, but that's how Caleb likes to get you, right? They want to pull on your heartstrings and try to make you emotional when it comes to using your orbs. Uh, next on the list, Fierce Battle Ichigo. Very good character. Strong attack, recharge minus 12%. Soul Reaper with Soul Reaper Killer. Berserker, 40%. Decrease Soul Reaper damage taken, minus 20%, Devastation 60%, Frenzy, hit hidden enemies 100% chance, so you will not need to use the Zeta Ball pill, and Paralysis Immunity, as well as Sprinter plus 1. Um, he also has a transformation mechanic on his special move, which means that he will actually transform and reset all his cooldowns. This character, in my opinion, is probably one of my favorite units of the entire year because of how he works. Uh, standard Lunge, 2500 length beam, second strong attack, and then um, 975 radius third strong attack in front very very good strong attack and then being able to reset on your transformation and then get a how what's the damage bonus i think it's a 25 percent yeah 25 percent damage bonus to your strong attacks which is really 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 good so this character hits like a truck and he has the berserker and the hit hidden enemies so that he can actually perform even better since you don't have to waste a that's what i'm looking for you don't have to waste a an accessory on the zeta pill <laughs> you can just use like uh, fortification pill instead, right? All right, next on the list, Hiyori. All you really need to know, uh, Flurry, uh, Poise, normal attack damage, 20% link, and Sprinter plus one, and weaken defense on the special. Very, very good for epic raids. She's also a bonus in about three to four epic raids now, which means that her value, in my opinion, has gone up. Uh, next on the list, Jushiro. Uh, I think he's only really worth talking about because of this. Damage inflicted at full stamina, plus 25%. This does not... Th this classifies for literally everything your normal attack damage your strong attack damage and your special move actually very excellent if you're using max transcended units in uh guild quest this will help you deal that extra damage for your guild quest next on the list you heart yodoichi probably one of my favorite characters of her time pretty much and to this day she's actually very good uh she has a walking vortex that goes around her as you move across she has long stride with four flash steps berserker 30 percent bruiser 60 percent with a normal attack damage enhanced link so she has a total bruiser of 85 percent a rancor killer uh debilitator plus five seconds paralysis on all of her attacks except for her normal straight attack damage string Devastation 20% and Sprinter plus one. This character, in my opinion, is probably one of my favorites. And then on top of that, she has a 450 radius normal attack damage string, despite, uh, oh no, excuse me, because of the long reach plus 20%, which is, ah, oh, it's so good. Uh, next on the list, uh, Soy Halloween Soyfon. She was given strong attack recharge minus 10%, which I'm, I honestly feel like that's all she really needed. Uh, they gave her a Devastation 40%. Enhancer, Frenzy, Havoc 20%, Weakened Defense on her Special, and Sprinter plus 1. Now, she is a booster, and with Weakened Defense on their Ultimate, you can actually push some high numbers on this character. She has Bambietta's first Strong Attack, in which case it's a range collision, pushes the enemies back before exploding in on itself. And then her Strong Attack 2 is a 900 radius boost. Literally the best of its kind, in my opinion. And then her third Strong Attack is just a standard 1200 radius full screen third Strong Attack. Overall, just good value character. She might not hit as hard because she doesn't have Berserker. However, the strong attack recharge minus 10% with her boost, I think it really outweighs um, the negatives of this character. I think she really came back. As well as her having four flash steps. Honestly, there's not really too much negatives going for her, in my opinion. Alright, 
And that's pretty much all I wanted to cover for the main banner. Going into these individuals, we do have some valuable characters. Izuru, in my opinion, has probably one of the worst banners because of value wise like these two these three premium pool characters are very very low value white ichigo most of you're probably going to get them naturally shun sui you're definitely going to get them naturally as well as veruka these characters are going to be fillers till the day we die all right so uh going into halloween grimjaw berserker 20 percent frenzy debilitator plus two seconds with poison on his attacks he is an enhanced strong attack recharge 14 percent link he's nothing really too crazy uh his first strong attack is a standard lunge his second strong attack is, um, what is that second strong attack? Hold up. <laughs> 625 radius AoE. I think that this one was a lunge too, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't personally have this character. And then standard full screen third strong attack. He's not bad. I feel like he gets a bad rap, but since he didn't get Havoc 20%, he kind of fell behind the rest of the characters that were coming out during that time. Characters like Spirit Society Byakia definitely overlapped him very quickly. He also has a Hollow Killer, so he has a lot of competition when it comes to Hollow Killers and people wanting to use those uh, move sources on those units, right? Next on the list, uh, Raruka. She is a team boost, right? As well as um, weakening on all of her attacks besides the boost and the NAD. Having her weaken on her special move in my opinion is actually really good now she is an Arankar killer as well and uh, she performs very well in guild quests as well as uh, other content depending on where you want to use her uh, next on the list white ichigo uh, frenzy debilitator plus five seconds weaken on everything not a bad character but like it's just he's in my opinion low value like lunge first strong attack 2500 beam Third, second strong attack and the third strong attack is a 900 aoe a 900 aoe's at this point are very outdated and usually aren't really too acceptable unless they're on a charged skill in which case hopefully those characters get havoc otherwise they end up flopping usually they end up flopping <laughs> uh next on the list chojiro uh his banner is actually pretty mi mid too like lilinette's great ishin's actually pretty good but this retsu and ginjo are probably some of the most annoying characters to actually pull uh, going into Lilinette, she is a flurry unit, damage reduction link, she is a team healer, as well as a bruiser of 20%, so she does actually get some more damage on that. She has medic, poise, and sprinter plus one, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think she just does very well with an Arankar killer, like, I, I personally like using her during uh, melee Arankar killer week, I just haven't used her this time because I'm trying to push as much numbers as possible. Uh, next on the list, Ishin, last ditch survival, plus 100% link. Uh, he's, he's nothing special. Uh, Frenzy, debilitator, plus uh, two seconds, burn on all of his attacks. First strong attack, 2500 length beam, pretty good. Shave a second strong attack, and then on top of that, I, I'm not sure what kind of shave this is. 14% magnification is really low. Full screen third strong attack, and beam first strong attack, not bad. But like, he doesn't have strong attack recharge, he doesn't have berserker, he doesn't have havoc. So that really hold, holds him back in this day and age. Alright, and last but not least, Yamamoto's banner. And Yamamoto's banner probably got cucked the most in my opinion. Because they have some good characters here. Kisuke is actually okay, and Yoruichi in my opinion is actually pretty good. But the problem is, these characters get thrown out all the, literally all the time. Alright, so first, Halloween Gin, probably the wor one of the worst characters to be released during his time, which was not even a year ago <laughs> strong attack recharge minus 12 percent uh berserker 20 percent frenzy uh tons and tons and tons well actually he doesn't have a ton of range collision i think he's better than manga biakia at least uh range collision first strong attack pushback uh second strong attack is a crawling vortex with 425 radius you kind of want havoc 20 percent if you're going to throw in a crawling vortex nowadays and then standard full screen third strong attack he's not bad he's just mid and like Oh, heart is so flooded with just good characters now it's actually insane like if we just go into the new heart characters like who who are we competing with right let's see click click boom yeah chojuro nanao shunsui Apa uh, yeah, yeah, apache or even this retsu rukia grimjao senju maru izuru is actually pretty good and then you have mugetsu soifon tokinata kenpachi and loli like you have so much competition in heart it's not even funny and uh yeah so like I, i'm sorry that halloween game it's enough for me uh going into kisuke he has paralysis on his third strong attack he has weakened on his special and since this character is very viable to try to get him five out of five since he's so um prevalent honestly 
how getting pulling this character if you're all if you're already pulling on the banner is not the worst thing if you don't already have him five five uh, he's worth transcending because he's able to one shot a lot of things and then on top of that with weaken on his special move like you also have a rock art killer right in my opinion i feel like he's lost a lot of value only because the final boss is no longer red uh, for the last like year <laughs> actually for, i don't even know how long we've been doing the same guild quest but for the la longest time we actually ended up having a red boss for the final boss so this keyscape was actually very very valuable using him in extreme co-op though if he's like max transcended has always been a pleasure because he bombs right the he, he just bombs right through the entire stage so in my opinion i think that this keyscape is pretty good uh, my only issue with him is definitely going to be it, it just sides with the fact that he just comes out very often as filler so i would never recommend summoning for him right 2500 length beam very good 900 aoe distant not bad all right 900 radius can usually be pretty bad however aoe distant attacks are kind of nice because they take place in front of you so you don't have to run into the middle of the enemies to do uh your aoe like some of the other 900 radiuses like you saw with the white ichigo like you see with uh tag team actually tag team ichigo is not too shabby but you get what i mean uh third strong attack is going to be the shave uh style attack now this is actually the shockwave ability which is actually not bad because if you use him in epic raids this second strong attack go dummy hard <laughs> use your special get the enemy get the boss weakened pop off your second strong attack right next to the boss and dude <laughs> that damage yo that that his health bar gone just absolutely gone uh, obviously you're gonna want more key skates if you're trying to do that method but i mean like overall just the not he's not bad like he's not bad i, I definitely gave him a lot more crap than he deserved but yeah uh last than but last but not least my favorite character in all of these fillers even though i already have her eight out of five <laughs> strong attack recharge minus 14 percent so at worst she's a sar 14 link right uh, she has enhancer because she's a team booster frenzy sprinter plus one she is a yorowichi so four flash steps no long reach unfortunately but she does have soul reaper killer which is nice and to this day if you ever max transcended she still holds up very well she has a lunge first strong attack full screen third strong attack and like i said with the four flash steps and the ability to boost your teammates uh i think i feel like she does very 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 well for herself and um standard special move uh like she's nothing crazy special right but she's like fundamentally good <laughs> which is which is definitely um it's definitely nice considering this character came out when did she come out uh let's see premium do this ah there she is considering she came out literally march uh, end of the month march 2019 and considering she definitely outclassed a lot of these characters I feel like she's done very well for herself, considering that she's probably one of the few characters that I get disappointed when I see her, but I don't feel bad when someone pulls her for the first time, right? I feel like that's important. But I'm going to leave it at that. You guys, grind on catch up with me. Stay blessed. I wish you all the best luck in your summons. I hope this allows you to make a more informed decision. Um, that's like the main reason that I make these videos in the first place. But y'all have a great day. I'm sorry that this video was a lot later than I expected. I had a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff to do. I have so many videos backed up. It's not even funny. Um... For those that are, <laughs> screw it, screw it. I'll do a sneak peek. For those that are, um, for for those that made it to the end of this video, here's a little sneak peek of what's to come, bro. Just the, just a tiny, tiny sneak peek of what's to come, bro. Anyways, stay blessed, y'all. See y'all on the next one. Peace.